Three films, Mediterranean, a gritty tale on the plight of refugees, Mustang, innocence under oppression, and New Rock, the lessons of right and wrong. But which would win the European Parliament's Lux Film Prize 2015? The winner is Mustang by Denis Game Argovan. Denise Ganze Argovan, the winning director, sat down with Europol TV. Congratulations. Now, what does it mean to have won the Lux Prize? The Lux Prize carries very well its name. It's, uh, the, the three films which were uh, selected were all questioning our societies in, in one way or another. And uh, all these films uh, could possibly open a few doors of, of thinking, of dialogue on, on different questions. So it's a way of uh, uh, strengthening these films and echoing their resonance very, very strongly. So it's uh, an immense uh, power that it gives us. What forms the basis of making a movie about female oppression? Is it because you, as a woman, wanted to make a movie or does it relate to the oppression you've seen in Turkey? Well, my relation to cinema is really something where uh, I have this feeling of uh, deep movements of uh, tectonic plates which go in one direction or another and uh, it always goes um, towards uh, what I am the most sensible to in the world we live in at a certain point. Um, and yes, around the question of women is the uh, uh, thought and reorganize the idea of society in Turkey today. And uh, I thought it was really a time where we had to, um, to rethink it and yeah, to question it. To question the, the way place in which... of women in, uh, well, in the beginning it started with, I wanted to say with quite a sense of urgency what it was to be a woman. And there was something in Turkey which was even more, uh, acute and urgent to seize. But do you think also this, this is a movie that can relate to everyone? Because essentially, whether we talk about male or female, it's essentially mm. about children growing up and coming into their own. So is this also about giving the rights of young people to the, then become adults and, and have the right to make their own decisions? There has been like people from very different countries which have uh, uh, said that the, the story of the film resonated with their experience in a way or another because uh, the basic line of the film is really an aspiration to freedom uh, and so of course uh, women are more uh, sensible to it because there's resonances even in cultures which have uh, no historical or cult um, cultural, geographical intersection with Turkey, people uh, uh, find elements in their own experience that resonate with, uh, with one of the film. I always compare the film to um, The Escape from Alcatraz. So the, the basic line of the film is really a question of freedom, an aspiration to freedom. And then, of course, the, the, the question of womanhood uh, uh, finds specific resonances elsewhere in the world. So did you draw upon personal experiences or or, or are these stories that you heard of the way in which young girls are treated? For example, this image of girls living in, a pr in essentially a prison. That was something which was uh, uh, a metaphor of, uh, of course it exists, of course you, uh, everybody knows like this girl from a neighborhood which never gets out uh, uh, and things like that on different generations. I, I had figures like that around me. But it's, it was really, for me, there was something about, uh, uh, in cinema, you literally film the metaphor. Like when I question uh, what's happening to freedom in Turkey, I, I literally stage it by putting uh, one brick over another and, and yes, erecting higher walls. So, it, so it's a way of dramatizing uh, uh, the values in conflict through a metaphor. But do you think people in Turkey mm -hmm. are going to be happy about this movie? because it's obviously painting quite a terrible portrayal of what can happen to girls. So do you think people will see this as an East versus West movie? That's the way that you trigger dialogue and, and you trigger uh, development. So I don't think uh, ducking down or looking away uh, makes us any good. And I really feel we have the responsibility to, to face things. Turkey is a very dynamic country. Um, through my short existence, I've seen uh, the country uh, change dramatically uh, throughout the years and develop uh, very strongly. So um, yes, within this, this movement, it's very important to, to, to exert our, 
uh, our critical look. A critical look is not necessarily uh, antagonist. It's just a, a way of questioning. Okay, love, I think we have to leave it there, but thank you so much. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.